Welcome back, and um, I'm going to be showing you the uh, smallest 3x4 piston door ever. Uh, the dimensions are 14 long, 8 high, and 2 wide. So we'll get uh, started on the build in a second. I just want to show you it. So it's completely seamless. And it's world record size, coming in at only 224 blocks. So let's get into the tutorial. Start by placing um, your bottom pistons. And then your actual door. Like that. Then place four blocks just next to these pistons with redstone and four torches like that and you're going to come on to the end of the redstone here and put a torch on the block then repeater just going to go into another torch and another one. Oops. One more torch right here. The block on top. Then come around the side and put two blocks. One with redstone. The other with a repeater. <coughs> Sorry. Keep that on one tick. Into a block and into another repeater, which will go into a block, and like that. I'm going to have two redstone like that. Then you're going to want to put a block here and here with repeaters on two ticks. Put a piston there with the block and put two pistons there like that. And one more there. Like that. So this here is your um, closing mechanism and first block traction. So your input will be anywhere down here. Let's take a look. Like that. And it will close as well. Like that. Now we'll go on to the double piston extender circuit. So I come down here, put some redstone, uh, which will be powered by this torch. This will be your falling edge detector and put a repeater on four ticks make sure there's a piston under here that's the mono stable then put a couple torches into a repeater it's going to go into a repeater on three as well torch up torch over and into a repeater on two ticks. Um, so yeah, let's do a double extender circuit and let's try it out. All right, one thing I forgot. Generally, do forget. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to place a piece of obsidian or any block that can't be moved, so a chest or 
anything really. Um, so now it should work. Close it. And it's open. So that's our first half, and now we can just uh, copy it on the second for the second half. So uh, I had a door quite similar to this one in my previous video. Um, that was actually nine tall because it had a long line of redstone on the top. You didn't really get a good look at it, but it had a long line of redstone on the top, which actually made it nine tall. And I thought, well, what if I could make it eight tall by getting rid of that redstone? And I did, just uh, with a couple repeaters. Um, so I'm happy about that. Because now, that made it even smaller than my, than my one wide door, which was 16 by 15. Yeah, I'm just repeating the double piston extender circuit right now. Um, hopefully I'm not going overly fast. Alright, that should be the whole door. Let's give it a shot. It's open like that. So that's pretty cool. Now, a couple things. For the frame, um, up here, you're going to want to make this block right here, whatever your ceiling is going to be. And same with that one, because it's actually part of the ceiling. And the block in front of the repeater here uh, would have to be what your walls are going to be as well. Just some tips. So yeah, we can throw in a frame. And so yeah, that's it. I guess the uh, smallest 3x4 piston door ever built. Um, only two wide, eight tall, 14 long, um, it may be possible to make it even smaller, but it would have to be one wide, because I don't know if it's even possible to make it any smaller if it's, um, too wide. So, uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching.